Welcome to our daily reading for Thursday, January 26, 2017. Remember, it's a general reading. See what feels right for you. See which sign symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign and that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest, greatest good of everybody. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. How you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for that wave? Crashing into the wave? Riding the wave or ignoring the wave? Also feel free to make this an interactive video if you wanna pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, try to check out the musical playlist below, see if there's further depth for this reading for you, or just enjoy the music. Thank you for joining me. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in a moment for the reading. Hi, welcome to our daily reading for Thursday, January 26th. 2017. I want to apologize for yesterday. I didn't mean to ghost y'all. I just sort of disappeared. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Um, I, try, I tried my best to do a reading and it just wasn't coming through. I was hitting walls. I was getting tired and I went back to bed three times. At one point, I woke up and my sister totally cleaned my kitchen and my bathroom and I had no idea. So... Um, when you see me here, it's usually my day off and sometimes I have to take care of life on my days off and sometimes life catches up with us. So I just felt a bit depleted and went to bed. So it's now almost three in the morning and I'm actually at my sister's house. So let's begin. Let's see what comes through for Thursday. It could have some energies still coming through from yesterday, Wednesday, um, but I'm not going to redo the reading. I'm just going to leave that alone and let it be. Things happen, and I appreciate you guys understanding um, that I'm just human here, and I want to give it my best. I don't want to give a reading that's not meant to come through. I trust that they come through as they should. So let's begin. I have three different decks of cards here. Um, let's get clarity on Thursday. We're going to start with the Thelema Tarot. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for the highest, greatest good of all. Let's take clarity and focus on the energies coming through for the day and wisdom for us all to ride these energies back. Let's start with one card. Clarity for Thursday-ish. By the way, this is my sister's shirt and hat and paintings. All right, let's get one card for Thursday. Clarity, wisdom, and a nice foundation for our day. The Page of Wands. So fiery energy, fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, like energy, sometimes younger, doesn't have to be really curious, really adventurous, really like wants to get it done, wants to do it. I always see go-karts when I see this page, like the little kid that has the, the um, you know, the four wheeler and goes in the woods, the little kid that goes down the water slide, the little kid that goes camping, like wants to know it all. It could be inner expansion as well. It could be like wants to know it all, like more questions. What's that? What's that? Like inner expansion. Um, so there's a long way to go here. Um, so like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I feel like it's just a fiery energy. They have a lot of confidence, even though they don't know everything yet. So it could be you starting something new, doing something a little different, a different way than you used to, than the norm, than the use. Um, or this could be, this could be somebody, you know, if this isn't you, it 
could also be just the advice coming through for the day. Sometimes a page is just news. It's information. It's, uh, it's wisdom. It's something that comes through in a burst. Like, uh, I'm getting like a, um, like a big burst of energy, a big burst of like a fireball <laughs> all of a sudden. Um, like a fireball energy that comes through and just sort of, you feel it and then it's gone. But you know you felt something and you know now that you felt something, you got to do something. You got to go somewhere. You have to call somebody. You have to discuss something. You need to know more about that fireball that you felt because you actually felt it inside of you. So this could be the news that comes through or this person could be coming through kind of like a little fireball, you know, just sort of like what just happened kind of it could I'm getting a helpful energy. So it could be it could be somebody a little like my sister coming through and like like a little tornado just sort of cleans everything up, straightens things up, brings some light to a situation and then it's better. You know, there's a release afterwards. Hi Ham. That's Hamlet. All right, let's get another card. Let's get clarity on this page. I also see a lot of transformation here because there's a salamander here. Mm -hmm. So allow something to come out, you know, in the right element when it feels right. Um, I'm also getting like a shedding of a skin, even though a salamander has a regeneration. Mm -hmm. So maybe there's an actual mm -hmm. regeneration of something that was lost and you're finding something or you figured out how to make something grow again. This could be the mm -hmm. news coming in or um, after this transformation happens, you need to start on this new journey because it's a younger energy here on something you don't know everything about and figure out how to have new growth somewhere with something. So let's get clarity on what this is about. We're gonna move along to the Guardian Angel Tarot. I'll throw it, but you have to sit. It was pretty good. It's all slobbery. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's, let's get clarity on the Page of Wands for Thursday. You're funny. Mm. Are you going to sit? That's pretty good, him. All right. Let's get another card. Clarity on the Page of Wands. on the ball alone are you One card clarity on the page of wands the two of action all right so I like this card it's like you know you need to go somewhere you know you need to do something it just takes getting in the car and going getting in the cab getting in the the plane, making the plan, starting to take action on something. I feel like this is also companionship. When the two of rods, the two of fire, there's a lot of fire energy coming through. So this could be like somebody else who has that same kind of fire as you. No matter what, like I'm getting like different color fire. So blue fire, yellow fire, orange fire, fire, green fire, whatever color it is, it's, um, an attraction to yours, whether it's a different color fire or the same. It's, um, uh, I'm getting mutual energy, working together, compromise, um, a helpful energy. I'm also getting somebody who might be younger than you, but, uh, I'm getting maybe seems if they, if you hear that they're young, they feel mature. And if they are older, they have a younger energy about them. I hope that makes sense. So I'm getting like a crisscross energy. So that like young at heart energy and old soul <laughs> energy at the same time. So maybe that's one person, you know, or maybe that's the way, uh, maybe that's the balance between this companion. I'm getting companionship, com uh, uh, company partnership, um, compromise is coming through. So maybe there's a conversation coming through. You're getting information from this person and heading towards somebody else. Or once this information comes through, you're going to find your way towards some kind of compromise and companionship somewhere. But it starts with you moving first. 
towards someone, away from someone, and perhaps with somebody new, or because of somebody new that you're doing something different. Two of action is, um, I feel like it, yeah, it's decisions, but it's, I feel like it's decisions that usually involve somebody else, or you're considering somebody else in that decision for some reason. I feel like the two of fire comes when you met your match, pretty much, when you have someone pretty compatible to you, or it can feel like you're rubbing heads because, you know, it's like you met your match. Sometimes that's your match, you know? You gotta rumble sometimes to make that work. So find compromise here. I feel like both parties here are pretty strong. They're pretty firm, and I feel like there's a way to work together here. So trust in your ability to make, ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. Sometimes you just have to be spontaneous, you know? You have to go with the flow. You have to work with the energies that come through, the personalities that come through, the emotions that come through those personalities, and the random scenarios that happen to our life around that. So sometimes you just have to go. You know, don't sit on something so long that, you know, you procrastinate. As soon as you know you need to move, move. Don't beat yourself up if you couldn't before. Just know when it's time to. You know, know when that fireball comes through and that inspiration comes through and it's time. It's time to do it. Um, let's get one more card for the day. This is the Oracle of Visions by Sierra Machetti. Let's get clarity on this news coming in and this action you need to take. Um, it could be you bringing the news as well to somebody else, like really wanting to ha have this person as a partner, as a lover, as um, a friend, as a confidant. I'm getting like a friend. So I'm seeing even if you're um, romantically involved with this person that you're friends, that you sort of balance each other out and uh, you're good together. So look for where there's like a friendship, even if that's in your um, in your job, maybe there's someone around you that you didn't realize you could be friends with outside of your job and you start to, I don't know, I see like go out to lunch or something like that. Maybe you can do a, a side business or, you know, or, you know, there's, so, uh, I'm getting like your kids. Maybe your kids can be friends or something like that. That was sort of weird to come through. Maybe both of you have children that could like get along. I see like sports or something like that. Maybe you don't even know you have a connection with someone around you and you find out you have a deeper connection. You know, maybe, oh, it's like, oh, you do that too? Or I see like can canoes or like um, kayaks, something like that. I'm getting a park and I'm thinking of things outdoors. So maybe there's some kind of activity that you can do with someone around you that you didn't know you could do with. Maybe going to the gym. Maybe, you know, you both want to lose some weight or feel better feel healthy and it just takes having a partner, you know, someone that's like, D did you do this today? Or are you ready to go on a walk today? It doesn't take much. It just takes little changes throughout the day and following those little urges and things that you have to create a balance in your world. We, we don't always have balance in our world, but you know, sometimes if we're not late, we can park farther away from the store entrance and walk all the way around the mall to get to the store and get a little extra exercise, you know? Or carry the groceries in a basket if you're only getting a few instead of pushing a shopping cart. Just little things that you can change around. And then when you go to, you know, I'm getting when you go to the car, like, you know, like lift up those groceries a little bit and get a little extra. Like, if you can't go to the gym, do what you can when you can. If you're inspired to lift that up, if you're feeling like it's in balance, switch the hands the grocery bags are in and you know give yourself a little bit of a like i'm getting like a pump up so i'm getting exercise here maybe you have like a partner you can go to the gym or maybe you, you even have an idea for a class like a yoga class or a spin class or something like that and maybe somebody's a dj you know maybe they're not good in front of the class and they're not going to be teaching anything but they can give you a good playlist you never know how it could work together it doesn't have to be that you do the same exact thing, but there is something here that works together. So see what works together today. All right, one more card from the Oracle of Visions. 
I just heard Let's Stay Together by Al Green. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we just came through. Oh my gosh. You know the song from The Parent Trap? Let's, let's get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you and I combine? Oh, wow. That's a weird one. I'll put that below. Um, I'm going original Parent Trap with Haley Mills. Um, <laughs> all right, let's get one more card for the day. All right, you got to put it down, honey. And you have to sit. You have to sit first. And what is this? The three. It reminds me of the Empress that came two days ago. Um, wow, it looks a little like the bird on your calendar. It's like a red-breasted bird. Let me let you see this card. These cards are gorgeous, gorgeous. I also see astrology here with the wheel, so cycles, and allowing new cycles to begin. I'm focused on the fish, so maybe a Pisces, and I see the frog. Um, so I think of different cycles of something, you know, from different stages of something to come through and become something totally different. Also, I'm getting that regeneration thing. Um, like something growing back that was missing before that you just thought was gone and it can grow back. It can still come back. It can still work. I see the butterfly, the ladybug, the grasshopper, and the rat all together. There's so many symbols here. Also a dragonfly. So maybe it's symbols, totem animals, your own personal symbols, whatever that is that you see synchronicity in your world that help you, I don't know, get these, I'm getting like a fireball. Like when you see something and that's your sign or your symbol or your animal, it means something to you. And it's like you're following a trail for you. You're getting more uh, light on something for you that you were sitting down on. I feel like you have to create something and like get out of the box somewhere, you know? Um... Get up on a platform, take some time out maybe. Let's see what this is, I'm not sure. Um, let's see, it's, it's well, that this was me the last few days. I'm not even sure how many days went by. I feel like it was a big dream. So dreams, meditation, and spiritual escape. Sometimes we just need to retreat into ourselves. You know, sometimes it's just taking all that information that came out here in the day and finding our own center, getting our batteries charged again. You know, uh, just, um, I'm getting like you have to like bring everything inside of you and just process everything that happens sometimes before you're ready to move again. So some colors, oh, that's cool. That's like, the, I, I saw the colors of the, the flame before. Some colors exist in dreams that are not present in the waking spectrum. Okay, I'm gonna take this off tangent a little bit and I'm gonna tell you about one of the most colorful, vibrant dreams I ever had. It was crazy for me and it was before I knew of the song Walking on a Dream by Empire of the Sun. I had heard it, sort of, but I didn't know the title. I didn't know what it was, but I, yeah, I remember songs pretty fast and I remember this dream and it was just a vibrant, technicolor, crazy dream. And the background music to this dream was that song. And when I woke up, I was like, what is that? I wasn't focused on the colors and all that happened in the dream. It was the song. So I looked up, what is the song? You know, and I knew like a little bit of the lyrics going on. And when I found out the title, that the title was called Walking on a Dream, I must say that was pretty cool. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but it meant a lot to me because it was a big vibrant dream. And then when I looked up my my like my dream soundtrack, it was called Walking on a Dream. So it's pretty cool. So maybe pay attention to those vibrant things that come through for you. Whatever it is. It could be in a dream, it could be a daydream, it could be an inspiration. Sometimes we have so much going on out here, we need to reconnect in dream time. Actually, our soul needs to reconnect somewhere and like just gather something back, you know, refuel our soul, you know, feel better and then come back to this world. You know, sometimes we take a lot in this world and we have to yeah. have equal time in the other one, you know, equal balance. So 
Our dreams provide us with an alternative reality, limitless and unfettered. We are free to soar with angels or sink to the depths of demons. To imagine, to create, to escape the norm, to wander and ask, what if? And to awaken refreshed and question, why not? A gesture rests atop a magical box prop, her costume, a nightcap and slippers. It is a time now for rest and escape. Around, I love that this came up. Around her float, magical dream catchers nets, which recapture her drifted, elusive imagination. Climbing up the adjacent pole are varieties of creatures, each symbolizing associated with each symbolically associated with dreams in different cultures. Be wary of dreams and interpreting them falsely. They may be true visions or merely mirages of truth that will send us further from reality. Mm -hmm. So pay attention to your dreams. I want to say write down your dreams, daydreams, um, visions, signs, synchronicities, dreams right, right when you wake up. Maybe write down that you want to remember your dream if you're not remembering your dreams. And... If your dreams are being weird, um, I don't know. I feel like if, if they felt weird before, I feel like there's relaxing energy coming through. So maybe just allow yourself to literally relax into the moment that you have, whether it's like a power nap or you need to go on a run like a little kid and get your energies up so that you sleep like a baby. I feel like after you sleep a little bit, everything will feel a little bit better. Things will come a little more smoothly for you. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. I love you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.